guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome to my dining room this week. Um, this is just kind of the easiest room for me to film in today. So here we are. So uh, I have my weekly home fragrance roundup to share today. And I'm just going to let you know all the wax melts that I melted this week and then the candles that I burned. Um, there's a couple that are already in my empties container, so I didn't bother to bring them down. So I'm just gonna start with candles. Um, I did finish the Homeworks um, Golden Guava, which was amazing, loved it, so glad I have backups. And I also finished Pink Pomelo. So uh, those two are already in my empties video. You'll see them next week for um, June Home Fragrance empties, which is crazy to think about. Uh, I also have been burning down here in my dining room, actually just right over here, hopefully you can see that. I have been burning my Homeworks Coconut Cake, which is lovely, but it is the new one, and I will say the new version from this year is not quite as good as last year's. So I was a little bit bummed about that. This one has a slight artificial note to it that, um, I didn't get from last year's in the three wick version at all. So I do have one more coconut cake left. Um, I'll probably burn that one, but I don't think that I'll repurchase it. Um, and then in my kitchen nook right now, um, I normally don't have two candles going at a time. I try to stick with like one at a time, but I also have the iced tea candle from Homeworks as well. That one seems to be struggling a little bit. I'm just past the halfway point and the wicks are kind of starting to drown. So that's a little bit obnoxious, but I feel like it's just kind of par for the course for some of the candles from Homeworks. Um, I can still smell it really well. Like that's the thing that I struggle with is I do deal with like some of like the drowning wicks or wicks that break off, but I can still smell the fragrances almost just as good as before I started having wick issues. So for me, it's kind of obnoxious in that I really like the flame. That's part of the reason why I burn candles is the ambiance. And sorry that I'm squinting. It's, it was cloudy this morning, but now all of a sudden it's like starting to get sunny. But, um, so yeah, the wick issues, uh, yada, yada. I don't remember what I was saying, but, um, this is like the worst case of mom brain that I've had in a long time. <laughs> Stella got out of school this week and it has me like all discombobulated. But um, anyway, yeah, moral of the story is even though a lot of my wicks are, you know, not the best, I can still smell the fragrances almost just as good as before I had wick issues. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I do think that Homeworks is going to be making a number of changes this coming fall and I'm very curious to see what what's gonna happen overall. Um, I've also been burning, this actually comes with the iced tea, and I'm sorry, you can't even get these candles right now because they're not shipping from QVC, but the lemonade was a duo with the iced tea, so I've been burning this one as well, and the wicks on this one are still doing really good. Um, I've only burned this, I think, once or twice this week and only had it lit for a little while because this one is truthfully not really my favorite. I might actually end up moving this one outside in our backyard. Um, we have a really nice fireplace out there and I like to put a candle up on the mantle. So I think I might be putting this out there to finish it up. It's the reason that I don't like it is because it, it doesn't smell like a super authentic, like fresh lemonade made with like fresh squeezed lemons and sugar. It's more of like that artificial, like country time lemonade mix type of lemonade scent. And that's not really my favorite. I do really like the iced tea because it smells like the Lipton lemon iced tea, but that's like a nostalgic thing for me. I never drank like the powdered lemonade mixes really. So anyway, this just didn't really do it for me, but that's okay. And sorry that I'm like having to like awkwardly reach. I have also been burning, um, this is one of the fruit baskets here and obviously it's the blueberry one. Um, I've been burning this one. I did end up getting, um, another one of these so I do have some backups to put in here truthfully I think this is my uh, this is probably my favorite um I waffle between this and the strawberry being my favorite um but it's such a really lovely blueberry scent it also has some cassis in it so it's very unique and I just I love the style of these I think they're super cute I kind of need to dust mine a little bit it looks like but anyway 
Really loved that. And um, in more awkward reaching, let's talk about some wax melts. So I have, um, I just grabbed a bunch of new ones. So I'm actually recording this on Thursday. So I'm doing this a couple days in advance. So I don't have this one going yet, but it's gonna be going in my upstairs uh, bathrooms. It's Sensi's Blue Grotto. Um, this is, if you really like uh, Capri Blue Volcano, this is a really nice accompaniment for that. Or I, I don't want to say dupe because there is a slight difference between the two. This one is not quite as like citrusy, like tangy citrusy as the Capri Blue. This more has like almost like a citrus with like an ocean air type of vibe to it. But they are very similar. I know I'm about to drop this. I don't want to drop it. Come back. Oh, awkward. Okay. <laughs> um, if you do like a pre blues volcano, you are gonna like this. So if you're in the market for something to complement that, this would be it for you. Um, happy birthday. I do have this in my Scentsy Club subscription. I put it in there the last time that it came around. It is just the most delicious funfetti birthday cake batter scent. It's so good. It's really strong. Um, it's just one that I don't ever want to be without, so I'm really glad that I put it in my subscription, so I will always have that. Eskimo Kiss, I'm just finishing this up. I have one more cube left that I'm actually going to just, um, use up here once I'm done with this video. I'm going to put it in the guest bathroom upstairs. This one is a really nice, like, bathroom scent. It almost smells like, I call it, like, my fancy lady bathroom cleaner type smell. That's really the only way that I can explain this. It, it smells like a bathroom cleaner to me, but a nice one, like one that you spend a lot of money on, which is, I don't know that there are really nice bathroom cleaners out there. I buy the Method cleaners. Do you guys use those? Method and Mrs. Myers, like those are kind of my go-tos. Anyway, um, Sugared Strawberry actually finished this up this week. Um, I love this. This is also in my Scentsy Club subscription. I have three in there because it's so, so good. Um, my Sweet Plum Pastry, I did grab two more of those. I finished another, um, another bar, uh, of this this week as well. So I always have this on hand downstairs in some drawers. Um, it's kind of a good go-to for me whenever I don't know what else to melt, um, because it's my favorite. And um, you can't get this right now because it was a bring back my bar and um, I do have it in my club as well. So I will always be able to get this, but the next time that it does come back, I would definitely encourage you to check it out. It's really, really delicious. It is just what it says. It is a plum pastry and um, it's sweet. Some people think it's too sweet. I happen to really like it, but I don't know. It's just, it's been a favorite of mine and you guys have seen it in so many of my videos. Uh, and then here we have Skinny Dippin', also from Scentsy. I, um, this is actually one of Lisa's favorites. Um, my friend Lisa and also my Scentsy rep. And um, she recommended that I try this and I do really like it. This is kind of like a beachy tropical type of scent. It smells like just a lot of different types of melons almost, but like tropical melons, if that makes sense. It's really, really good. And it does have, there's something else in there that I can't quite put my finger on, but it's good. It's, it's a great summertime scent. And now since we're dealing with like mostly 75 to 85 degree days, like this is kind of the perfect time to have a scent like that, especially going in like my front living room area here. I think this will be perfect for that. So um, I'll be switching that out here probably once I'm done with the video because it's time to change my wax. So that's everything that I have for you guys. Oh wait, no, I, I'm lying. I have in my candle crock, I do have a candle crock down here. I'll just kind of show you right there. That's where I keep one of my candle crocks is right down here. And I have the, what is it? Oh, I guess you want to see me, not that. Um, uh, key lime pie from Sonoma. I have another one of those medallion crocs in my kitchen as well and I have that growing in there and it's just about done. It's been in there for a little over a week and um, it smells amazing. It smells really good when it's burning. It is mostly like a Fruit Loops cereal type of scent more than it is key lime pie to my nose. 
um, but it's lovely and um, I have just been melting them instead of burning them because I'm trying to get through a lot of my candles and um, so yeah anyway that's been going great in there and like I said it's been I think it's definitely been over a week at this point it's getting pretty faint so I'll be switching that out and um, yeah anyway here you guys go that's what I'm burning and melting this week thanks for putting up with this slightly awkward video today Stella is home and I've got the dogs running around and I'm actually getting together a bunch of stuff for work next week I have kind of a huge Oh, there she is I have kind of a huge wedding coming up so I've got a lot of prep to do for that but anyway uh, I do have my Scentsy warmer collection video that I filmed for you guys earlier this week and that is going up tomorrow so for those of you that have been requesting that I finally did it <laughs> so um, anyway that'll be going up for you guys tomorrow uh, let me know if you have any questions I really hope you have a great rest of your weekend please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video take care bye